Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to the channel. So, um, if you uh, are new to the channel, uh, this little truck has been like the centerpiece of everything. Uh, I put a turbo underneath the bed, um, and uh, it was on about 14 pounds of boost, and the radiator blew up on the little guy. So, uh, yeah, so you can see right here the crack on the radiator. But, uh, so, I've been trying to figure out what to do with this truck. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, so also, uh, sometimes I, where I'm in school right now, uh, I'm in uh, graduate school, so things get a little busy. Um, and uh, sometimes I go like maybe three weeks to a month between posting, but don't let that concern you. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I don't ever quit anything. Uh, that's how I got into pharmacy school, and that's how I'm gonna do this YouTube channel. That's how I do everything. So if you sign up and are one of my subscribers, uh, you will not be disappointed. I'll keep the content going. And, uh, okay, so, as you can see, the garage is in kind of a disarray right now. But, cool thing about it is, is I built this, uh, this, uh, pegboard thing so I can hang my tools up that are all down here in the floor. So, I'm kind of in the process of getting all this mess cleaned up. Let's see if I can get it good on the camera. And uh, my plan was, is to get the truck uh, kind of backed into where the big mower is over here, get all this trash took off. And uh, that way, you know, I could pull a motor and still have enough room to maybe pull another vehicle in here if I wanted to. So yeah, that's, the, that's uh, what I'm doing with the garage right now. Uh, okay, here's one thing. So I was thinking, uh, so this thing was on 14 pounds of boost, E85. So she was, she was you know, she was hopped up pretty good. And uh, so my thing is, is did the head bolts just stretch a little bit and they're back? I mean, cause they do stretch and come back, right? I mean, they, they might, I don't know. Or this thing was in a wreck before I got it. And did, did this radiator, see how the radiator was uh, scratching against that every time I opened it to check the, the fluid or add or whatever. So what I'm thinking is, I think that that may have been the cause of the crack of the radiator. This motor leaks like a sieve. Uh, the wiring hasn't been the best, but I got a soldering iron. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get this thing done right. Uh, and sorry for the camera here. We're gonna try to get this thing done right and uh, just tie up a little loose ends here and there and. Uh, just have like a, a okay, okay runner for whenever, uh, just like, you know, on like eight pounds of boost, just to, I, I just want something to be able to rip. Obviously, uh, 14 was a little too much for it. So we'll see how it does on eight. And then, um, uh, yeah, cause basically I can't get another motor for it until like maybe a couple months out from now. And, uh, my goal, I mean, for this thing, I want to be making some real horsepower with it. And I want to do the motor right so it's reliable. But uh, in the meantime, we'll have us a nice little ripper, you know, just something to rip around. And also, uh, so what I need to do is, is I had to steal the battery out of it for uh, my wife's car because her car battery died on her car. But um, I'm going to use a, uh, it's like the stick welder trick and uh, basically refurb the batteries myself, uh, refurbish them. So I don't even have to buy batteries. So that's cool. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to be... Uh, to get it going, I have a radiator for it. I'm gonna put the radiator in. I got everything I need. Um, I'm gonna refurb a battery. Uh, maybe also solder up some wires because that was questionable. Check the spark plugs. Uh, retard the timing on the distributor anyway. And uh, uh, maybe also secure the, uh, I have a scavenge pump pulling uh, oil back from the turbo. I might secure that a little better. But yes, uh, this is just a quick update. Uh, we're still in business, still making videos. Uh, so yes, uh, just to repeat what I just said, or not even repeat, just to recap, just so I got it in my own head here. Um, so I got a refurb a battery, radiator, turn the boost down, retard the timing, put some pump gas in it. We'll run it on 93. And uh, to see how far I can go with the 93, I think about eight pounds of boost would probably be pretty safe. Uh, that'd be right on the edge. Uh, I, I've run it on pump gas on about 12 pounds 
and uh, they didn't really like it too much. But I think uh, about eight pounds would be good. And uh, yeah, man. And then that's uh, at least a, like a little 200 horsepower ripper. So I'm cool with that. I'm maybe, maybe not 200 horse. I mean, 116 divided by two. So about 180 horse, uh, maybe 250 torque ripper. I don't know. Not bad though for a little 2,600 pound truck. But the real goal is, is we're gonna get an 800 horsepower monster at some point in this thing. That's what I want. But in the meantime, I need to be out here being able to rip and to do some pulls and surprise some people, you know? It's, that's, the, that's just fun, it's just fun to me. But thank you guys for tuning in, listening to me talk. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, you like the videos, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll keep the content coming. And uh, hey, we'll catch you next time.